Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, playing Death's Door. I know the game came out about a week ago, but I've been enjoying it immensely. And here is a quick guide to show you how you can unlock all four of the ability upgrades in the game. Now I'm gonna show them in chronological order based on when you can unlock them. The first one you can grab is the flame ability upgrade. This one is available pretty much as soon as you unlock the flame ability and it is most easily attained by starting from the estate of the urn witch door and you'll actually have to backtrack uh we're going back towards the lost cemetery here but this is going to be the fastest way to get where we need to go we need the flame ability obviously because that's what we're going to be upgrading but we need it to get to where we're going as well so just continue backtracking and you'll eventually meet the door that links the two worlds, which is coming up right here. There is a small little elevator that you'll also need to take. And then as soon as you drop down, you'll notice that the room kind of goes into two. You've been here before as a part of the story. You couldn't have missed these rooms, but there was uh, a little section you couldn't access as this game kind of does work like a Metroidvania. So once you're in this hallway, go to the left here and you'll notice that there is cobwebs and cobwebs can be shot with the flame in order to break them and go through. You'll find cobwebs all over the world that will lead you to things like shiny objects and shrines as well. But once you go inside the door, you will have a boss battle. This boss battle will last about a minute to two minutes, kind of depending on how good and how aggressive you are but they're not too bad in my opinion. I would recommend just keeping your distance and making sure you get really good at dodging. If you do have a really uh, hard time, you can always try to upgrade your health and upgrade your uh, strength and come back at a later time. But eventually you'll take care of the boss and once you do, you will unlock the upgrade. Each upgrade makes the ability better and in the case of the fire spell or the flame, it will actually give burn damage to the enemies that goes over time after you hit them with it. So it does a lot more damage and it does damage over time. I found the fire spell to be extremely useful throughout the rest of the game for me. The second ability upgrade we can unlock chronologically as we go through the game is the bomb spell ability and we'll have to go back to the lost cemetery after acquiring it. Go up the first set of stairs and then kind of continue to the right hand side. This is going towards the elevator that we used to get to the overgrown ruins. Instead of going down on the little zip line and the elevator, continue past it. Go up the uh, ladder here. And then once you get on the bridge, drop down and use your bomb spell on the door. And then you can go inside feel free to plant a seed and then go through the door and this will be another boss battle. I didn't find this one too hard either. The boss battles themselves are very similar to each other with just a couple of differences. You'll wanna just keep your distance when possible and build up the uh, combos once you can get in nice and close. And within about a minute or two, you should have this one done as well. If you do at any point lose in the fight, it is a very quick restart, so you can keep trying. And in terms of the bomb spell, I think the upgrade is the least useful out of all of them. Once upgraded, the bomb will not damage you, so you can use it in close combat situations without worrying about losing health. You may have also noticed that once an ability is upgraded, the icon in the top left corner will become colored. Now the third and fourth upgraded ability can be both unlocked as soon as you unlock the hookshot in the castle. The first one I'll show you here is the arrow upgrade available as soon as you spawn in the lost cemetery. Use your flame spell to get down into this dungeon. You'll need the other spells later on here, but you'll end up in this spider pit. You'll have to go up the ladder on the far end in order to light the urn. Then that will open up this gate and bring you to the next room. I'm not going to show you how to solve every room as it's very, very simple, but basically just take care of enemies and shoot urns to open up gates to get to the next area. And eventually you'll be able to go through here, up this ladder and through this door and then through the next door and you'll enter a room where the hook shot is required. You'll have to light both of the urns and use the hook shot in between to open up the last gate here. As soon as you do that, you should be able to walk forward and find the door for the dungeon in order to unlock the arrow upgrade. 
I did actually find this boss battle to be the hardest. I don't know if they just get harder or the further you are in the game or if it is harder on purpose or maybe I was just tired, but I did take a couple of attempts at this one. I really kept my distance and I think obviously using the arrow against the arrow boss could be a pretty smart idea as he does like to keep a lot of distance on the platforms on the edges of the map. But as soon as you are doing a lot of damage, uh, they should just eventually die and that will grant you the arrow upgrade. The arrow ability upgrade is actually really useful. Basically, you can now hold your arrow for longer and the longer you hold it, the more damage it will do up to a certain point. But basically, you can just now do more damage with your arrow, which is always a good thing. Last but not least, we have the Hookshot ability upgrade available in the Stranded Sailor. To get here, you would go from the Lost Cemetery, go to the West, and use the Flame Spell to connect to the Stranded Sailor. And here you can go up these stairs and into this door. You'll have to make decent progress into the game to have this door open anyways. But once you are inside this kind of cave, you can Hookshot across the gap, use the lever, then Hookshot across the next gap and go through the newly opened door. As always, there is a seed pot here, which is gonna be very useful if you are going for all of the seeds and seed pots, and then go inside to fight your final upgrade fight. Obviously, you're unlocking an achievement every time you beat one of these bosses. This boss was kind of hard. They do kind of hook around on the edges of the map and they're quite quick, but with a little bit of practice, you should be able to do it. I did it on my first try, but I took a lot of damage very early on in the fight. The actual ability upgrade is really useful on the hook shot. If you use your sword attack while hooking towards an enemy, you'll now release a powerful slash as soon as you connect with the enemy. So it's a really good way to use your sword, but also keep long range against enemies. And that should be another achievement for you, hopefully grabbing all four. I also have videos for all the shrines and shiny objects, so stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to Zarias and Puffy Vince for supporting the show on Patreon. Peace.